Right, we've loaded the car. I'm just waiting for hubby. Um, he's just putting the steering lock on the other vehicle that he used for work. My hair is wet. I'm looking like, feel like a drowned rat. And it's peeling it down with rain, but we don't care, do we, my darling? No. Um, <coughs> we're hoping it might ease off in time just to set the outside of the caravan up, but we're off. further down it's up to you which is which one of them is actually um quite um you know well, it might one. be easier to get in that one because let's face it we're not going to necessarily use the showers are we because i guess that one's going round again i know one of them we need to use um Quiet, and they put a post well, on number 19. Do you just want to see if I'm far enough As you can see we're at the farm um, it did rain most of yesterday and through the night um, we did get set up in the dry which was nice um, we did as you could see some footage of us arriving didn't do um, any more video in um, we just had a chill out afternoon watching NCIS which we have seen most of it but we haven't watched I believe the last couple of seasons so we've actually in fact started again um we're hoping to go to a retail park today um because the weather is very breezy it does actually feel more breezy here because it is quite open i wanted to share my 
PJs. Now these bottoms are really comfy and they've got like a velvet strip down the bottom there, right along. Um, these are really comfortable, they're sort of like an in-between pyjama bottom and I use these an awful lot when we're in the caravan, especially if you need to go over to the toilets or shower block for any reason, because they don't really look like pyjamas, although most people, as hubby said, um, don't mind when onesies first came out we had a competition to see how many different onesies we could see wasn't that right honey <laughs> yeah. and then the top bit is it says shh yep coffee is calling my name this has actually got shorts to this this was from peppermint Cove. i've had it quite some time maybe just over a year um but i have to have my cup of coffee in the morning and I've just um, finished my second cup and I've put this up before um, this has got um, we don't camp we glam and it's got a little caravan on um, we did get this in Cornwall and hubby's got I think it's my caravan mug isn't it yeah so I'm gonna leave it there um, later we want to change the bedding because I brought clean bedding with us because although we um, replaced the fitted sheet and some of the pillowcases because we had so much to take back after Tamworth because we were there for nine nights that was um, we came back what was it about four nights ago we normally try and go away every two weeks um, and we've got uh, say the bedding to change on this later so follow us along on our day It is a little bit windy, as you might hear in the background, um, which you could be hearing through the video today. The sun was out earlier. It's now actually clouded up a bit. As I said, um, the farm is in the background there. Um, it wasn't too bad a night. It wasn't one of my best nights, I must admit, so I'm feeling... A little bit tired this morning um, did go for a stage of being hot and cold yesterday I'm hoping I'm not coming down with a chill or anything um, hubby slept really well but for the first time in ages I did actually have my Kindle I was reading for about an hour I did sort of have problems settling down which I don't normally do in the caravan but um, so we're gonna go out um, do a bit of walking around um, looking forward to going into Asta this is not the biggest Asta but it's bigger than most we do not have a big enough Asta in Northampton Tamworth is the largest one we've been in because it's on two levels and this one is the second biggest we've been in so I'm hoping you're going to enjoy um, looking around Asta with us and we will see if there is anything different from the last time when I, as I say, videoed the large two-tier Asta in Tamworth. Right, so we're now off to Asta. Shopping! Now you're going to do shopping. shopping! I wonder if anybody knows what movie that is from. She got a few tents, um, even though it was really windy. We did feel sorry for a few because they oh, were turned yeah. up, didn't the, they? The, this couple with the blue tent in front, it was absolutely chucking it down, and they turned up, they sat in the car, thought, are they going to wait until it starts raining? No, they got out, and they were putting the tent up, and he was in his shorts, and I just thought it was so comical. Well, at least he didn't have to have a shower. Yeah, but you turned around and said, oh, aren't you going to go over there and volunteer to... Uh, Give hand to we it do up. normally, don't we? Especially if we're anywhere for a week, don't we? Yeah. What time did they turn up? Quite. Yeah, it was quite late. It was about seven o'clock. Got a few. Oh, there's the one with the little trailer, isn't it? Yeah. And as for that, that little black tent, there's five people sleeping in that. <laughs> do Do you think they did actually all stay? Yeah. They must have another vehicle though. Maybe it's in the car park. And there's a big motorhome up by the... Uh, the cows are out. 
Oh, the farmer's out on his quad. I, I heard thought I right. heard it earlier, actually. Yeah, he's out on his quad somewhere. He was he in shorts? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. Oh, he is. He is a lovely guy. Um, we've been here when it's been cold, and he still had his wellies and his shorts on. We've Bless never him. seen him with trousers on. It's always shorts. So yeah. snow, rain. He's got shorts on. <laughs> A lot of people do prefer this side, don't they? Yeah. But we think it's a little bit more slopey. Oh, someone's in the um, pod. Are they? Yeah, so I'm sitting out. Oh, yeah. Still waiting to see if we can actually um, show you one of the pods. I haven't had a word with them. And, oh, we've got one of the big RVs, look. Yeah. With the pull-out sides. And we've got a trailer tent here. As I said, we do like these sort of things. Oh, there's the guy you was on about, yeah. isn't it? Like I said, I wonder whether they're updating their site. And they've got their little mini delivery van here because um, they do deliver meat, don't they? Because there's a butcher's here on the farm. Yep. So there we are. As I said, I know we've... Oh, they've got in for breakfast then. Yeah, and there's the cafe. It's what I call shabby chic. Yeah, hubby looks at me blank when I say that. I don't know what you're on about. Um, but I do like it. And that is on a video um, last year. I got permission to uh, show you around the cafe before it actually opened. So we're off to Asta. I say, one of hubby's favourite um, shops. I don't know, does it have a cafe? Yes it does, does it? Yeah. it does have a restaurant, yeah of course it does. That helps sometimes, but we're not, don't think we're going to be out that long, but like I said, we'll see if they've got anything different. Um, I do like Aston, Mr Mayor, and I've said this a number of times. Right, we're coming up to the retail park. Phoenix. And as I said, um, it has got a fairly decent Asta, but also as I have said before right in the corner over there is the range mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah everybody I think they do it on purpose hubby and my son go mm. but as I said I got hooked on them Where were so. we got hooked on them or I did when we was in Cornwall um, up to that point, I've never been in the range before. It looks a little black over there, my darling. Look. Does that mean we go back to the caravan then? Not go shopping? No. Oh. We've got to go into Asta. <laughs> look, look at ha happy face. Mm, Asta, again. Oh, it's been all of two and a half weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, about two and a half. <laughs> He's only putting this on. He loves Asta, really. Yeah. Like I love a hole in the head. Where's the fish we had yesterday? The lemon and parsley, or crispy golden? I thought it was lemon and pepper. Was it? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Oh. Unless there is another one. No, they've got some different ones. Which I think, I think did I prefer, you like fish? I, yeah, I think I preferred the lemon than the standard fish. So, yeah, we did enjoy the fish last night. Which do you prefer? We've got Mac 3. Hubby has to have the gel and not the foam. 
we've got Gillette 5. This one is, I think this is £3. I usually do get stock up when they're on special offer. That's just the ordinary um, gel. Gillette it's gel. And that's and that is actually that's a roll back, isn't it? So what was the original price on that? One pound forty five saved. Yeah, it was two ninety five. So it's two and a half. What do you want to get for? Uh, two will be enough. Okay. Do we need any other products from here? I think you're all right for a razor, aren't you? Um, the shampoos are on offer and in my item shop I did get the Sunkissed Raspberry. We have picked up the Juicy Green Apple, that's another one we haven't had before. Um, we have actually got the Strawberry there and the other couple are actual conditioners and there are um, down to 95 pence. So it's not bad. And there's some more products here. These are Energize, Restore here. And this one is Relax. And this one is Vanilla and Wild Orchard. And their shampoos in like the tube size rather than the bottle. They do look quite nice as well. This one sounds nice, the tropical one, and that's peach and mango. Right, um, we've got the unicorn pink um, pencil case. And yeah, we've got to look at some stationery, and we've got this really big notebook. Now, this is been reduced by 50p, and it's the one with the seat pins on. So um, that's like a like a, a pink and a silvery um, sequined notebook. And we have got these here, which is the A4 size. These are three pounds eight. These are, you are amazing, which I think is really good. And they have also got it in the A5 um, size as well. Gorgeous. And yeah, anything sparkly. And there's, there's this lovely pencil case. I'm not sure at the moment. I think that one's three pounds. And they've got the mermaid um, pencil cases up there. It looks like they're all about three pounds. And if you want a bit more glitzy, I mean, this is a different one. This one's four pounds here. Um, it's like the mermaid tail with the sequins, which is really nice. And also, you've got the glitzy. Um, that's the A4, and they've got it in the A4, and um, that's £3.50, and it looks like the A4 one is £5. And here's some more notebooks, um, ranging from £2.50 to £3. In fact, this one has got um, a three-pack of A5 notebooks, all unicorns. Then there's this hardback one, that is really cute. And can't um, forget the boys, but there is like a dinosaur range. I remember these. Um, our son had these sort of things where you push the different buttons and like that. And then it's got the um, magnetic bit there that you put the pencils in. I can remember these, and I don't know if this one turns around, I don't think this one does. Um, but it's got all different compartments, and that's in the dinosaur. And they do have the um, dinosaur notebooks. Um, they're two pound fifty, so that will make a nice um, gift for a boy. I've um, got to show you these um, notebooks. Um, we've got "Have a Nice Day," I think that's really nice. And then we've got this is a set of three A5 notebooks. They're two pound. And this mint green one is absolutely gorgeous. I am busy every day. I think that is really lovely. 
then down here they seem to be reducing a lot of their um, folders in this range and I think these are really sweet and lovely. these are a pound and they were 125 and these were originally two pound and they're down to one pound fifty Hubby hates gnomes. Don't you, Dalen? You do not like gnomes, do you? No. Let's have a look at the picnic and outdoor dining range. We have got these lovely rainbow um, plastic cups with the um, wiggly straws. They're two pounds. We got it in like the rainbow. Hello Sweet Summer with the pineapple and we've got them with the opened one and this one's got, I think that's cute, especially, well it could be for a boy or a girl, look at that, it's got dinosaurs with ice cream strapped to the back, how cute is that? So we're going along and we've got some, these plates are gorgeous, these are the melamine type plates, the plastic ones, and they've got them in the yellow and this blue with the yellow rim, and they're, these are four pounds, and then the side plate is one pound fifty. And they've also got these um, bowls with the birds on, they're one twenty-five, trays are four pounds, and look at these heart-shaped bowls, ain't they cute? And you've even got the picnic blanket to match. Looking at the little tents, or is it the gazebo type thing? The gazebo, uh, it's a greenhouse. Um, 35 pounds for what size? I don't actually tell you the size. It's the weight. That's too badly priced, is it? Mm. And you can get the um, air beds. We've actually got one of these with the built-in electric pump, haven't we? Yeah. And it is a godsend, especially if you've got um, visitors coming. We used to have it when we was camping, and then we used to have one in the um, sleeping compartment in the awning with our other caravan because it was only two berths. But this one is a brilliant offer and well worth having especially if you need that um, extra bed for visitors we use it a lot around Christmas time I've just picked up this they do call it a cooler but we call it a lunch bag when we mean cooler we normally mean the big one that looks really um, solid and strong that's solid doesn't it I think we're going to have to take one of these my darling don't you? Four. Yeah, I know you've got one, but look at all the pockets and for your sticky stuff and your, what do you call them, earbud things? Airpods. Oh. Airpods. Yeah, so I'm hoping you're enjoying. This is shop with hubby. Not very often he will get involved in the shopping thing. We normally go out sort of separate ways or he makes a beeline for the cafe. What do you reckon, darling? Yeah. So um, that is the nine can zip less caller. Yeah, and they're nine pounds. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get that one. We do tend to go through lunchbox and it has to be dark, doesn't it? And look at all these backpacks. Um, doesn't look as though, whether this is something they're just setting up, I don't know, oh it has got tag on there, that one's £12, isn't that, bit of blitz, bit of glam, with Hogwarts on, and look at these, it's that one, and that one is, let's have a look at that one, one tag, that one's £10, that one with the pinky um, pom pom, and we've got the second one, we can move up like that. 
don't know if that's about the same price as well. That was £14. Colleen, if you don't smoke, you can have your Mitchell Freestyle 422. That's Abby Mitchell 422. Thank you. So there, I like this one with the love keyring on. And it's like this grey marble look. And that one is £10. And got a few other ones down there. An Aladdin one, but then look at this one. This one's lovely as well. This has got the pump on that one's £12. I'll quickly go over some of the lunch bags. Um, do you excuse any noise in the background? And I said I did do a few, I think, in Tamworth, but hubby, look at this one. <laughs> no, I'm not taking that to work. That would just make you feel hungry all the time, wouldn't it, looking at that? That one is actually um, £7 by the looks of it. But, oh, isn't that nice? And then you've got the water bottle with the burgers and hot dogs and fries on, which is cute as well. But, oh, I think that is lovely. The lunch back here which is the llama one and it's like this um, furry material and for the boys how about this one this is the gaming lunch bag that is really good just not putting the plastic bottles over And they've got the water bottles with these like um, unicorn dolphins. They do have this one here, Mermaid for Life, which is really nice. And then the other size is the smaller one with the mermaid. And they are three, three pound and four. Something else I use a lot, and we've got the different ones. You've got the plain ones for the guys. Um, I used to leave these in their um, bags for work, ideal for making notes, even revision. This one I like. I need to replace mine actually. I used mine for the caravan to make lists backwards and forwards. Just a girl boss building her empire. I think that one may be coming home with me. We've got this one. Mermaid at Heart and I think there's a lilac one if I can reach right at the back to see if that's got anything on yeah and that one is um, be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown and be loved and it says yeah I think that's nice but although I'm into the lilac I do like the same on this one so yeah, that one's coming back to me. As I said, I write lists of what I keep in the caravan and everything. have this enthusiasm don't you're having a good time looking round that stuff don't make me laugh what's so funny I thought you wanted homeware not videoing me there's a cake tin here there's always time for tea and cake and um, that is eight pounds um, as I said, I'm looking to see if there's anything that I haven't actually noticed before. Sometimes when you're videoing, you miss things, don't you? So I'm going through here. I like to look at the tea towels to see if they've got anything different. 
these are kind of nice as well. Like mermaid colours. And we have these ones. The two towels here, which are basically the same as what I've seen in Tamworth. I just want to show you these double quilt covers in unicorns. The double one is on offer for £8.40 and the king one is £9.80. And there's the design. Very nice if you're into unicorns. So, they've got a lot of this print in. We've got the single which is five pounds was ten and the double was twelve pounds reduced down to six. Yeah, so we're just gonna fill up the tank now. Um, because we do use this mostly, don't we, for towing? Ready and for the next holiday. <laughs> yeah, we're going away to Smith's in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're just coming back. I'm trying not to jolt the camera because we didn't use the GoPro this time, did we? No. Um, quite a few in the shop. So they, I have video that as well they do have a farm shop and it's not just this farm um, I believe they bring in um, you know produce from different farms and also a bakery um, is just keying in now um, to take the barrier up and say oh do you think they would miss those hanging baskets me darling they yes. nice and also they would know who's took them <laughs> yeah if they sync the video I do like their little pieces that they have. Oh, and I keep mentioning that water pump. That would look nice feature in our um, on our slate in our garden. So here we are, back again. Unless there's, I don't think any more has turned up yet today because um, it's not. It's only twenty to eleven at the moment. A bit windy, but I think it's going to Oh, is that our neighbour? This little van. Now they all are standing outside their tent. Right, now from my Astor Hall, I do excuse, as I said, any wind in the background. Um, the sun is out now, but it is, um, it's not cold, it's just obviously quite open here, so it does get breezy. Right, first couple of items is I did have to go and get my cheese. As I said it was not with my Iceland shop, um, it was out of stock. So it was the same price actually at Asta. Um, it was £2.50 a block. So for 700 grams, it worked out £5, which is roughly what I have per week. Um, needed some sweet eggs um, for our home. This is 600 tablets. These were £1.89. Um, yeah, I tend to shop around for sweeteners because it it varies from store to store, I must admit. Um, we did get two lots of the shaving gel, Gillette. These were on offer for £1.50. Yes, we just got the two. I did ask Hubby whether that would be enough because with um, the guys in the home, obviously get through it really quickly. Did get the Juicy Green Apple um, shampoo. 
and this was on offer for 95 pence. Um, I got a clear glue. Now this one is slightly different because it's got like the small nib at the one end and it's supposed to dry clear and then it has got um, a different attachment on the other side so it's a dual one so that was a said 60 pence give that glue a try um hubby along with my son keeps doing this they get their cases cracked for the phone so they've got the this is the iPhone um, two pack screen protectors and this is for the iPhone 7 XS XS yeah so that's that one and then it's got the ultra thin case which is just the clear one I I don't know not only hubby and my son have cracked both their cases and they were actually quite expensive cases but even my daughter-in-law, actually hers is even worse, isn't it? She's cracked her phone. So anyway, something we do like the fajita um, sets. This is Home Pride. It has got no house. I don't remember seeing it before. Like I said in my Iceland haul, I like to look round because um, we don't go actually out food shopping that much unless we're away. And then... It's really weird, and our son says this a lot. All the pieces we buy items tend to be all higgledy piggledy, sort of, you know, strange combinations, but that's just us, especially when we're away. This is a sun fried chicken wrap kit. This was on offer for £2, and that's the packaging. Um, as I said, it's got seasoned breadcrumbs, Texan. Texican barbecued sauce and eight wraps and then you add your chicken lettuce tomatoes and it says about one orange pepper and it says four so um, we've had the smoky barbecue one before but uh, as I said this is the all-american one to try now to the barbecue we have got this barbecue grill scrubber this was I believe one pound fifty just needed another one they do go grotty very quickly um, so after the amount of times we used the barbecue when we was in Tamworth was ridiculous I think five days on the trot we did actually have barbecues um, we had a couple of then days um, in between before barbecued again and then hubby picked up this it's the hot dog grill topper it's a pack of two disposable for your sausages anything for an um, easier life and these were £1.29 right and then we did pick up the um, this is the nine can zipperless cooler but he has it as I say for his lunch box and it is lime green colour inside it does have this little plastic thing which is like a shelf so Obviously, you can have um, maybe the heavier stuff or cans underneath, put that on top, and then his lunchbox will definitely fit on top of that. Then he has um, a zip pocket here. I say this is excellent. Nice big pocket in the front there. It's got your mesh pockets at the sides. And then it's got this really decent strong strap and it's got the lime green um, padded um, shoulder pad so and I just think the colour's great that is the main thing having it black on the outside because being in engineering it is going to get filthy anyway so I think that's good I've got a feeling um, when hubby uses this our son is going to want one as well and right I did show on my um, video um, stationery sets and in the end I did get the pink set which basically says just a girl boss um, building her empire. Now each of these items were a pound. I was a bit surprised about this, the um, say it's the A4 and um, you've got the, is it the A6 is it? 
cutting out. I think it is actually. Um, but anyway, these were the same price, which I was surprised about actually, because um, yeah, I do like this one, and I like the um, plastic -y cover and lined. The only thing is, when I'm bending it, these sheets will definitely um, start coming out. But with this spiral um, spine, I like that because you just fold it over like that and you're not ripping pages out. And I do like it if you do want to. It's got the perforated edge there and that's just lined. So I've got the complete set. And like I said, um, backwards and forwards to the caravan, I needed a new um, list. And I do like these. I have I think i um, showing you what I've done before and I usually write when we leave the caravan I have different pages what clothes I leave in the caravan what food I leave in the caravan drinks that sort of thing um, what needs to be done if it, anything like if we need to go to another DIY shop to get any um, screws or anything if anything needs doing that sort of thing or any notes that needs to be done so I said I do like those and the last item I got was, because we've done our room neutral at the moment, um, I got another quilt set. Now this was originally £12 down to 6 It is the double side size and um, it's in this um, check. And what is really good is it says minimum iron. I don't very often, unless they're really crazed, is iron my bed in. Is that funny, Delin? I've noticed. Have we got an ironing board? Yes. Ignore that. Ignore that. I do iron. He just doesn't witness it. Now, let's face it. I don't know anybody out there. Maybe you do. Do you iron your fitted sheets? No. Went to the stretch of a mattress. If the washing um, goes out, especially your bedding, I usually find, you know, wash it hang it out, get it dry, and usually, very often, especially with the quilt covers I purchase, I can very often put them straight back on the bed without actually being ironed. Life is too short to spend too much time ironing. Now, hubby knows this, when we first got married, I ironed absolutely everything. I used to spend hours ironing. Um, I did work for a building society at the time, so yes, things did have to be you know sort of really well ironed and look smart yes and I guess hubby's just dropped his phone luckily has got he's not got his new case on yet so I'm going to conclude it there because I'm getting off track here so I hope you've enjoyed this haul